Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. But I'm not in the library right now. Can you tell where I am? I'm at a carousel. I'm at the carousel at the Greensboro Science Center. The Rotary Club of Greensboro Carousel can be found at the end of the Science Center's parking lot. The Greensboro Science Center has been here for 60 years and it's grown a lot during that time. The carousel was just opened last year and it's the largest carousel in North Carolina. Many of the animals you can ride on the carousel can be found in the Science Center's zoo and aquarium, like the tiger and the meerkat. Some animals on the carousel might be found in your backyard or at a park. Other animals can only be found in other habitats or at zoos or aquariums. Do you think you can tell which is which? Let's see. Can a hummingbird be found in your backyard or only in another habitat? Did you guess backyard? You're right. Could a penguin be found in your backyard or only in another habitat? Did you guess another habitat? You're right. Could a golden retriever be found in your backyard or only in another habitat? Did you guess backyard? You're right. Could a red panda be found in your backyard or only in another habitat? Did you guess another habitat? You're right. Could a ladybug be found in your backyard or only in another habitat? Did you guess backyard? You're right. Where could you find a unicorn? What do you guess about the unicorn? I guess you could definitely see a unicorn in your imagination. There are around 280 species of animals on display at the Science Center, as well as a museum with exhibits on dinosaurs and extreme weather. Plus there's Sky Wild, an outdoor adventure course where you can creep, crawl, and move like an animal. One of my favorite animals to watch move at the Science Center is the ring-tailed lemur. I like to watch it climb and swing, and I especially love its stripy black and white tail. There's a ring-tailed lemur in one of my favorite stories to share. It's called Please Mr. Panda by Steve Antony. This is a book about donuts and manners. Do you use your manners? Good job. Well, let's listen to the story and see who uses their manners. Please Mr. Panda by Steve Antony. Would you like a donut? Give me the pink one. No. You cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Did Penguin use her manners? Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Did Skunk use his manners? Would you like a donut? No, go away. Did Ostrich use her manners? <sighs> Would you like a donut? I want them all. Then bring me some more. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Did Orca use his manners? Would anyone else like a donut? Hello, may I have a donut, please, Mr. Panda? Did Lemur use her manners? You can have them all. Aw, see, good things happen when you use your manners. Now that Lemur got the donuts, what should she say? Thank you very much. I love donuts. You're welcome. I do not like donuts. What a fun story. 
Did you notice something that all those animals had in common? Let's look again. Did you notice that all the animals were black and white? Good job. Let's look at the animals again. There are six animals and two of them are birds and four of them are mammals. Let's see if you know which is which. Mammals usually have fur and their babies are born live and drink milk. Birds usually have feathers and their babies hatch from eggs. Is a panda a mammal or a bird? It's a mammal. Is a penguin a mammal or a bird? It's a bird. Is a skunk a mammal or a bird? It's a mammal. Is an ostrich a mammal or a bird? It's a bird. Is an orca a mammal or a bird? It's a mammal. Is a lemur a mammal or a bird? It's a mammal. Good job, everyone. It's fun to learn about animals, isn't it? Science centers, zoos, aquariums, and libraries are great places to learn more about animals. With your library card, you can check out books about animal kingdoms like birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians. You can also find books about black and white animals like zebras and penguins and skunks. And you can read all of Mr. Panda's adventures. Thank you for joining me, and thank you to the Greensboro Science Center for letting us visit today.